Hello everyone and welcome back to Imperator Rim. So, um, plan is Egypt. We're going pretty good. We're approaching great power status. We've beaten up Kush. We'll finish them off basically now. Um, once we get a CB on them. There we go. And we are currently plotting to poach one of the uh, Macedonian governors in a very fun strategy of basically stealing land. We do have to s try and befriend the governor, but that is not overwhelmingly hard if we've got cash, which we do. Assuming things doesn't demand another amount of those, we should be good. Also, all of our people in our government seem to be old and dying. Okay, so this guy is now, this guy, is disloyal. So we can entice the governor for 50, aggressive, 20 aggressive expansion and negative 50 opinion. We snag a province from him. We did not manage to snag Achaia, uh, Achaia or whatever, but we did manage to poach off Athens, which is kind of hilarious. Macedon obviously hates us much more for our actions, but that is the way it goes. And if we wanted to, we could rinse and repeat with their next governor. But uh, for now, I will be content with my expansion there. We are waiting for the CB on Kush to go through, and then we'll attack Thambud as well. Um, this guy is claiming to be... Oh, okay, we can get reduced aggressive expansion for 240 months. That is really good, actually. Um, what the heck do we want to do about it? <laughs> uh, let's invade Thamud then, maybe? While we have the time. We'd also be at war with those guys. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll invade Thamud. Turn off drilling. Automate it. He should invade. Good. Uh, we're also going to want to build a road from the top of the Nile to the bottom of the Nile. So that's going to take a lot of cash. But we will work on that. Thankfully, we have some client states who'll help us. I don't even know what's the point of having this client state here. Um, it's kind of cool. We own Cyprus. Uh, it's a feudatory, though, but at the same time. We've got enough supplies for our army, we should be able to progress pretty easily. The elephant takes up a lot of supplies, though. Okay, um, we're still working our way through some of the tech stuff. Our victory is ours. We just got increased research. I guess we keep going down here and do reduced aggressive expansion for a while. Yeah, that should work. Oh, we have a decision. Restore the Laurelion Ironworks. Ah, I think this is event in Greece. Oh no! Gotta have been in Greece, otherwise I had it before. Yeah, okay. So the ironworks are restored, so now it produces three iron there. Oh, okay. It's nice, three more iron we can sell to people. Oh, our admiral died. That really doesn't affect the game, but awesome nonetheless. Uh. Yeah, and then they'll do a siege, and we'll keep occupying. Good. We should win this war with no trouble, which, if we had trouble, I'd be surprised. But it's nice to know I don't have to concern myself with it. While we think of what else we wish to do. Um, I should probably throw in a couple temples up here. So suffice to say, the Jewish religion still... Alive and thriving up here. 
And unfortunately, we do need to stamp it out to stabilize the region. Although I'd really love to know why my legion won't siege a fort down. It's trying to hunt down that army, which is the issue. Everybody's dying on me. Oh, we won the Olympic Games. That's kind of cool. And some bonus stability, add a new governor. I forgot what we own that area up there. The funny part is we own that area up there, but we're basically just going to leave it free for occupation. Whew. Cost us money to maintain the Library of Alexandria. Cost us a lot of money to maintain it. Although 25% uh, oratory tech investment's pretty good. Yeah, look at that progress. One percent a month. We're gonna have an oratory tech lead by the end of this. Pretty sure we already have a tech lead, but it'll be even higher. We'll promote the slave ruler, uh, slave guy there. Stop moving around. We'll promote the slave guy there because it'll give us some slave happiness. So while automated armies are really nice, they also have the really annoying tendency to march off forts you need siege down. They don't necessarily prioritize taking the right things. Another innovation, nice. Let's keep going down here. Tribute income and reputation. Reputation is nice, but not game changing. Another person died. We're gonna keep our content, uh, people content, our, our families as happy as we can without causing a lot of trouble. Good. And then still got some food. I think we should actually do complete and be able to do completely complete annexation here. Yes. Awesome. Completely annexed. Didn't even get us over a hundred aggressive expansion. Even better. Because we're about to go declare war on Kush. Awesome. Uh, or 50 over guess expansion. We are 50% of the, uh, 50 points away roughly from getting to infinite legions, which will be nice. We're going to integrate these guys. As nice as having them wandering around is owning their land gets us closer to 500. Pops are starving. Delightful. There's very little I can do about that, actually. Ah, they're no longer starving. You lied to me, game. The game lied to me. Okay, improve opinion, plus 10%. Let's do Alexander, more Freeman. Alexander is... Overloaded, in fact, with population. <laughs> Should probably up that. Um, population capacity probably up would help. More population, the more trade routes we get. In this case, we have quite a few nobles. Really, our issue is we don't have enough building slots. We can get more, though, with uh, innovations and stuff. We might be able to vassalize some of these guys peacefully. But do we want tribal vassals or do we actually want the land? I think we want the land, to be honest. 
Tribal vassals don't help in wars, so that makes them less than useful. Um, yes, aggressive expansion, we'll get the Grand Triumph here, and then we'll work our way down towards winning land with the spear. Basically, it goes back to our initial war that we did for the large conquest. Uh, Sinai Rebellion. Interesting. Religious guy. That works. Your governor. That guy's a general. Let's send the governor. He was less than loyal. It's amazing how many decisions you make in this game based off loyalty rather than actual skill. Very rarely do you want someone in office who's skilled but not loyal. And then all we have to do is occupy the last two and that should be the end of Kushite independence. Oh, our athlete got killed. Didn't know they could die. Good to know. Apparently it's rare, but he died. You are loyal. I love how I just go and look for loyalty. Uh, we should also consider if we wish to build another great wonder. I'm thinking we do. There's lots of effects we can work on. Do so we have any conquering ones, do we? Ah, conquering traditions. How nice. Do conquering traditions and stuff. So that would be 4,000 gold needed. We're halfway there. We'll go for 4,000 once we get it. Yes, good. He's actually marching the right direction. Great stability, always nice. No, you're not marching the right direction. How do you miss that? Where were you going? Uh, slave died in a mining accident. Unfortunately, we have to fund that. Push is gone. Okay. We've completed land of ebony. Get 300 gold, 10%, 10 military. We get the Aswan gold mines, which is nice. The elephant hunting expedition, which is cool. Doesn't help us that much. Um, we have to make Cyrene and Ptolemaeus Theron loyal. Okay. Um. You're not very loyal, are you? Grand Theater will help. Grand Theater as well. I think that was the only two I needed, right? Kyrene is already loyal. Syene and then Ptolemus. Okay, yeah. So we have to make those ticking loyal. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. Make sure I'm actually working in the right area. Uh, province map mode. Region, maybe? No, province. Uh, okay. Well, we seem to be on the right track. If not, we'll know very soon, won't we? And our ruler died. New Ptolemaic queen, Cleopatra. They'll take the names when they take the throne. She is absolutely horrible, isn't she? Um, okay, she's got an 18 year old son. We want a young wife for him, obviously. Yeah. Unfortunately, we, while we can pick up the blood of the Gadai, we can't actually use it that oh, well. Oh well, we'll see if that works. In the meantime, I could probably put her to researching her history. Um, nope, we cannot prove legitimacy yet. So, proving legitimacy has a chance of... 
triggering, like, finding out your ancestor was Alexander the Great, which is really useful. Uh, let's make sure this guy's still loyal. <sighs> Barely. He's the rival of our ruler, which isn't good. Um, can we alter that? Remove rival. There we go. Much better. And then we have to crush this little revolt that popped up in our subject's lands. And then I guess we go after people like these. People um, living up here, I guess. Okay. Got a long way to go to Annex Nabatea. Like, 30 years. Hopefully we can get to 500 provinces sooner. See, I could again bribe and steal a province, but I still don't feel like I could fight them. I'm getting there. Maybe I should work in Greece then. Um... Rome is right there. Uh, we don't border really. I could work on Thrace, maybe? No, he's loyal. Darn. Um, they're pretty loyal. There was a, Oh, there was a civil war. Okay, so we gotta wait till the civil war wears off, then we can poach some land from them. The Seleucids are in a massive war here. This might be our chance. Um, he's a loyalist, though. Can't, cannot lower his opinion enough in the Civil War right now. So we wait. Um, our ruler is apparently a leper. She's not going to last long then. Um, especially because we can't seek treatment. So, we're going to have this guy in charge. Better than his mother. That's saying something. We'll steal a province there. Make it a little easier to annex those guys later. Um... There we go, let's do that. I have decided we are going to build this road. So we have a road to here. We will do build a road and we'll basically build it all the way down to here. Um, alliance from Macedon. Um, I guess so. Pretty sure they got beat up by Rome. We're actually doing kind of pathetically, um, quite pathetic as um, Egypt in some ways. We should have a tech lead against basically everybody though. Yeah, we have one heck of a tech lead. We are 72 years ahead of time. As long as we keep that going, we should be okay. You're in position. Build a road. Build a road to there. Interesting it chooses to go that direction. How about build a road to here? Then we can come back and build the road on the other side. Civil War against Nabatea again. How do you guys keep triggering these civil wars? Oh yeah, yeah. They should win it without my help, so. It's nice that after Civil War, everybody suddenly becomes loyal. That makes a lot of sense to me. Although, why I am suddenly losing tons of money, less clear. Um... Let's make sure... Oh, I've massively exceeded my fort in this province. That's... I've been losing a lot of money there. That should help quite a bit. It's still still a bit high. 
still high again. I know I reinforced it, so I don't want to un unreinforce that area even more. You're fine. Anywhere else, there's a lot of forts. We can support a surprisingly large amount of forts in some provinces, but... Six out of five, yeah, right here, there's one. Okay, that should save us some cash. Uh, this guy's become disloyal. So, place him there, tell the new units to spend immediately, and then fire him, basically. Or bribe him, and then fire him, if we can. 76, you look loyal. Come on, let me see who you are. That guy's 40. Or 56, let's replace you as well. Okay, uh, Grand Triumph, make the generals a little bit more loyal, which would have solved some of that problem I was dealing with. Oh well. Still, progress, we're losing less money now. What's their governor, really? You'd think with new gold mines we'd be making more money, but... We're not. Oh well. We shall wait and continue. Once we get the road, that'll keep, make it a little easier to not have to worry about marching south if there's a rebellion again. Yes, we'll donate to the poor. I assume what's happening is we've got some, yeah, rebellious provinces that our governors are trying to take care of. We should probably... She's dying anyway, so prove legitimacy. Grant holding. Oh, let's just grant her something. There we go. So now she gets extra money from holding, which should pass to her oldest child, who's got a son. Sadly, because we went with the whole familial marriage thing, we lost <clears throat> Ptolemy's bloodline. But that's the way it goes. Oh, moving right along. Look at that road go. Speedy Gonzalez, when they come up there, should move nice and quickly. Population output, yeah. It's only having issues with our population. However, our religion has surpassed Kemetic, so all of my um, temple building has paid off. Hellenic is rising, which is good. Another innovation. Let's do... It's only point 0.1. That's point 0.2. Or we could just keep going down here. We need both sides. So, command incentives. Improve relations plus 20%. Let's do that. Rome likes us, which is funny. The Seleucid like us, which is funny. Carthage... He's losing versus Rome, which is an issue for us. Uh, Mastodon likes us. Thrace likes us. The power of improved relations. You get people to actually like you. Um, let's check out the Moria. They seem to like us. So it's, they're outside of our range, sadly. So I can't ally them right now. They are huge. Rome is getting up there in size, isn't it? Not doing a great job converting their cult, spreading their culture. They're converting the provinces rather efficiently, though. Oh, speaking of which, did I ever? I did. Okay. 
Uh, I guess we should probably... Uh, we're on anti-pirates, which is good. Uh, sure, I'll join that call to arms. I can't do anything. The AI really doesn't know how to evaluate calling people to arms. <laughs> like, there's no point in me joining your war, because I'm on an entirely different continent, and uh, I have no way to go help you. Oh, we need another aqueduct. Wow, we need a lot of aqueducts on this nation, don't we? Um, it's more Freeman, why not? Alexander the Great has been deified and is now getting promoted religiously. But Basically, we're in a bit of a puzzle. Or at least I'm in a bit of a puzzle here. Until I fi either uh, find a way to destroy the Seleucids from inside or poach enough provinces. We are annexing them. Um, we're going to have the issue of not enough land. Right, I'll let these guys win it. They should. These guys hilariously are Jewish. Like, the other Jewish nations have died, but the one in Arabia is still going strong. There we go. Look at, look at the spread of Hellenic thanks to me building all those temples. There we go. Not so much culture yet, but religion? Yes. That's awesome. To be fair, we did double down into it. We went to Great Temple and Religious Conversion, and we put on the other stuff. So we'll stay on this for a while, and then we'll swap to the culture, and hopefully the culture will spread just as fast. We're getting a lot of events giving us army stuff, but not very useful ones. Ruler died. New Ptolemaic king, Ptolemy the third, has taken over. He's actually got kids. He's so far alive. He's narrow-minded, sadly, which is going to hurt our tech. He's stable and has a six-year-old daughter. Good for him. Rome is going to be an issue. Look at Rome go. There goes the end. There goes Carthage, basically. Although the war is not directly for Carthage, but I suspect they'll take Carthage anyway. We may end up in a war with Rome before we really end up fighting the Seleucids, which could be a problem. Anyway, uh, we're done this episode for now. Uh, we've got a road running through Egypt, which will help us keep them loyal. And, uh, getting a good tech lead. Let's treat them. And we are stable, relatively speaking. Um, so I think we'll be able to complete our first mission tree, finally! How many episodes into the game? So, thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.